I am Dr. Sandeep Day. I am a senior consultant in the Department of Radiation Oncology. Today I will be speaking on a highly specialized technique of radiation therapy known as stereotactic body radiation therapy, otherwise known as SBRT, also known as stereotactic ablative radiation therapy. This topic is very close to my heart and forms one of the subjects of my clinical expertise. The principles and practice of SBRT has been derived from a technology known as stereotactic radio surgery, otherwise known as SRS. It's uh, defined as a very special method of external beam radiotherapy, wherein multiple beams from various angles are directed towards a tumor in the brain to deliver a, in a very precise form, a highly accurate form, a very high dose of radiation. In a single or a few fractionated treatments, usually through image guidance. SRS is indicated in various benign and malignant tumors as well as some functional anomalies of the brain. Though the name surgery is incorporated in its name, it has nothing to do with surgery. It's a purely radiation therapy technique, so it doesn't include any form of surgical incision or blood loss. When the same technique Treatment technique is utilized to treat any lesion or a target outside of the central nervous system or extracranially. It is known as SBRT. Now, conventional radiation therapy delivers a small dose of radiation daily over a several weeks duration. So, the treatment is delivered daily, five days a week, Monday through Friday. On the other hand, in case of SBRT, the total treatment is delivered in less than five fractions. So in SPRT, we typically deliver a very high potent biologically effective dose compared to a conventional technique, thereby dramatically improving the cure or the control rates. SPRT is used to treat a localized tumor of limited sizes or even more than one tumor located uh, throughout the whole body. The experience of using SBRT for treating various other tumors worldwide is ever increasing. So SBRT is used to treat a primary lung cancer of limited size or to treat tumors which are spread from other organs to the lung. It is used to treat a primary liver cancer when a transplant or a surgical intervention or various other modalities are, are not possible. It is used to treat a liver cancer uh, basically to downsize or to shrink the tumor so that a transplant can happen in future date. And in certain times we can use SBRT as a breach to a transplant program in view of uh, the long waiting list in a transplant process. It is also used to treat uh, tumors which are spread from other organs to the liver. SBRT can also treat tumors like a pancreatic tumor, a prostate cancer, bile duct tumors, adrenal gland tumors, lymph node tumors, pelvic tumors, sarcomas, and even multiple metastatic tumors, otherwise known as oligometastasis, spread throughout the whole body. In very specialized circumstances, SBRT can be offered as a modality of choice in patients who have received a full dose of radiation but currently present with a localized recurrent disease. The process of SBRT relies on various technologies. One, a three-dimensional imaging and localization technology which basically helps to exactly delineate the coordinate of the tumor in relation to the body. Number two, uh, an immaculate immobilization technology wherein the patient is immobilized in a manner which can be reproduced daily for the entire duration of the treatment. Very sophisticated planning technology and planning computers wherein multiple beams from various angles can be focused onto the tumor to deliver a very high dose of radiation to the tumor. And very minimal dose to the surrounding critical normal structures and organs. And number four, our delivery through image guidance, otherwise known as image guided radiation therapy, wherein a medical imaging is utilized to delineate 
or determine the exact location of the tumor before the actual treatment and in most cases determine that for the entire duration of the treatment. Image guided radiation therapy helps in delivering very precise and accurate radiation therapy. The first process involves a consultation with an expert radiation oncologist who specializes in the technique of SBR. The radiation oncologist goes through all your clinical details, the scans, and then determines the indication of SBRT treatment. So if there are a clinical indication, the actual process of the planning starts. The planning process includes various steps. The first step is sometimes the radiation oncologist tends to put in very small gold coils or seeds which are of the size of a rice grain known as fiducial markers directly into the tumour. They help in accurate localization of the tumour and in delivering accurate and precise radiation therapy. But in the modern era of uh, CT scan based treatment delivery, this state can be avoided on certain occasions. The second step involves preparing an immaculate immobilization procedure which is used uh, of a stereotactic body frame system. These are basically vacuum or cushion bag systems and helps in immobilizing the patient during the entire duration of treatment and so that the same reproducibility is achieved for the all the settings of radiation. Once the immobilization device is prepared, the radiation oncologist tends to ask for a radiation planning CT scan. A four-dimensional CT scan can also be asked for that helps in determining the tumor movement in relation to your respiratory or the breathing cycles. This is a four-dimensional CT scan is absolutely must for treating lung or liver tumors. Sometimes the radiation oncologist will also ask for an MRI or a PET scan image and all these images are fused with the radiation planning CT scan in the planning system to give us a robust idea about the actual tumor delineation and delineating the normal critical structures surrounding structures. Once the imaging is done, all the images are transferred electronically to, electronically to the planning workstation. Then the radiation oncologist delineates the exact tumor dimension and all the surrounding critical normal structures and organs in the appropriate scan images. Then a three-dimensional volume is created and then starts the actual planning process. Your expert team of SBRT then determines the best plan to treat the actual tumor. Radiation is nothing but x-rays, so when the actual treatment happens, you don't even realize anything. You'll be lying down on a couch. The machine is called a linear accelerator machine. The machine rotates all around you, but it never touches you. As I said, it's absolutely painless procedure, the treatment delivery. And you'll be awake for the entire duration of the treatment. And you can even communicate with your radiation oncologist through a microphone placed inside the room. The treatment usually takes around 30 to 40 minutes on a daily basis. And the treatment usually is delivered on alternate days. We at Apollo Hospital have a very robust clinical and technical know-how of performing SBRT under the guidance of experienced radiation oncologist and medical physicist. We ensure that you experience a very comprehensive and the best clinical care pathway from the time you enter our clinic till the time your entire treatment is over. As you all know that SBRT is highly technology driven, so at Apollo Hospital, we have the state-of-the-art True Beam STX linear accelerator machine, as the name STX suggests. This is specialized in treating stereotactic treatments. We have along with that four-dimensional CT scan and real-time position management or respiratory gating system that helps us in delineating and targeting the tumor in the planning process and for the actual treatment respectively. In addition to all this, we have a highly specialized system which is known as in-room exact act system. This is from a company called 
Brain Lab, which pioneers in the treatment of stereotaxy in the entire world. So this includes an in-room imaging device that online tracks the actual tumor during the entire duration of the treatment. Taking into consideration all this technical and clinical expertise, we ensure you the best possible SVRT treatment in our hospital, thereby ensuring the best possible clinical results. Thank you.